it's Tuesday again. It's time for the vlog. It is a bitterly, bitterly cold day today. Um, there's only a ring look of snow on the ground. I mean, really, there isn't much. Um, but yeah, the wind's up and it's it's cold. Um, so little has happened in my life this last week. I thought I'd tell you a little story because something's been playing on my mind this last couple of days. So do you remember during the first lockdown? Um, during the first lockdown um, last year, basically, right, because like I live at the bottom of a very large hill. And about three quarters of the way up said hill, there's a village. It's called Snow's Hill. It says on the screen right now how high up Snow's Hill is. Okay. I decided I made a mission for myself. I'm going to ride my bike to Snow's Hill. Now, I hadn't ridden a bike, you know, for quite a while. I used to love mountain biking when I was a kid, but Christ, alive, I used to crash a lot. <laughs> That's by the bike. Anyway, I, I decided to ride up to Snow's Hill, and I was like, right, right up the hill. Let's see how far I can get. Make a mental note, that's where I got to. And then the next day, I'd go, well, not on the next day, I'd say that three times a week I'd try this. So a couple of days go by, right, right, off we go. We go to a, get to that point, see if we just ride a little bit further, and a little bit further, and a little bit further. And it took me two months to ride from my house to Snow's Hill. The reason I'm telling you this is because I then decided, yeah, I lost all motivation for doing anything. So it's not like I did it once and then I'm like, ah, let's do it three times a week. Let's ride up to Snow's Hill three times a week. I literally, I haven't done it since. When I started running back in October, I wanted to be able to run a certain amount of distance. I wanted to be able to run five miles without stopping, for example. And then once I got that, it's like, well, how far can I run? Let's see if I can run a 10K without stopping, which I did as well. Which then turned into a crown Christmas time. It was a, right, okay, I think we should try and do a half marathon. We probably will have to stop, but let's try, let's just see if we can do a half marathon. And I set the day as the last day of June, January, which was 31st, surprisingly, but it was a Sunday. So it's Sunday 31st. I did my half marathon a week earlier. I did it, I did it, it was just one of those, I was just out running. I was like, if I run the route I think I want to run, I think that'll be a half marathon. So I did it. And I'll tell you something that since then my motivation to run has just evaporated um i'm finding i ran on wednesday i ran on friday i ran yesterday so monday and each time i'm just going my, my the whole time now my brain is going i don't want to do this i really don't want to do this i'm not enjoying doing this and I find that men, mental, running is such a mental game. When I first started running, that's, that's what I had all the time. I had the, just stop. We don't want to do this. It's hurting my legs. It's hurting my lungs. It's hurting my knees. It's hurting my ankles. I don't want to do this anymore. So, um, yeah. So, yesterday was the first run I've done in two weeks where I've just gone, look, why don't we just go for a run and not worry about the distance, not worry about the time. Let's just go for a run to just try and enjoy it. So I did a, a, a 5.7k run where it was just like, I, mean, I, was, I was 10 minutes slower than my best 5k time, for example, you know, to do an extra almost a, a kilometre, but you know, it's still, it's, um, yeah, so it's, um, it's interesting because as my, and there's a, there's a reason I'm going for it, there's, as my desire to run lessens, my desire to lift weights again has become overwhelming. You know, so on Sunday, Sunday's traditionally my rest day. I had Saturday as a rest day this, this week. Sunday, I was like, right, I'm going to go and do a workout. And I'm going to just try some stuff. So what I did is I, I added at least one plate either side on all the dumbbells and my barbell. And was just like, right, okay, just see what you can do. And I broke personal records on every lift that I did. Every single one. So, for example, um, on my side raises. Do you remember I said on a video recently that I did on my side raises, I was doing... Um, I could do ten, just about do 10 reps with a four kilo dumbbell. Well, I did 15 reps with a seven and a half kilo dumbbell on Sunday. And then was just like, well, why don't you put an extra kilo on it just to see? So blasted out 12 reps with eight and a half kilos on it. And it's one of those, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Cause now after, I mean, I was doing two weight sessions a week and being more careful with my diet and da, da 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 and just one of those okay now this is sort of starting to work so i did shoulder press and i use an 11 kilo dumbbell to do my shoulder press and it was again it was one of those why don't you put an extra kilo on either side see if you can do so i did 10 reps at 13 kilos and it was one of those oh okay now this is starting to feel really good did front raises i put uh, with eight and a half put another kilo and it did nine and a half 
so it's all one of those this is all coming together now and i was just like i came away from my workout on sunday i was so pumped like this is fantastic so the other thing that you might have seen and literally this is, nothing has happened in my life this week of any significance we had a nothing weekend where we just chilled we just sat around didn't do anything went for, went for the walk that i'm doing now liz and i did and alpha obviously that's it <laughs> we didn't do anything else um Oh man, my hands are so fucking cold. But I can't use my I can't use my phone when I'm holding when I'm wearing my gloves. So it's one of those I've got bare hands. <laughs> um, I should really get some of those touchscreen gloves. I? Anyway, um, so the only the only big thing is that I've um, I've set myself a challenge regarding that. So I think about it, I, I said I would climb to Snow Hill, and I climbed it, and I said I'd do a half marathon, and I did. So what I've set myself a challenge, which in my eyes is fucking impossible now which you may have seen the video I did on Thursday, which is the pull-up challenge. So I'm 38 years old, and I, in my life, I've never done a pull-up, ever. I've never, ever, ever had any sort of upper body strength to do things like that. Do you remember when you were a kid and you had to climb the rope at school? Never did it. Couldn't, just couldn't do it. Didn't have the strength to lift myself up. So I've set myself what, to me, is an impossible challenge. It's a, I cannot do this. So on Thursday, I said, right, let's just go and see how I can, how long can you hang for off a bar? And I was appalled at myself to hang for nine seconds. You've probably, you've probably seen the vid. If you haven't, go and have a look. I, I edited it all together and just made it into a fun little thing. I went back the next day, because I was so appalled with my performance, I went back the very, very next day. And I hung for 19 seconds, which is one of those, well, that's interesting. How come you couldn't do that a day before? I went back on Saturday and I hung for 20 seconds, which was a really interesting one for me because in my mind's eye, it felt like at least 30 seconds. And when I dropped off, I was like, I told him, how long, how long? It was like 20 seconds. I'm like, you, you can't be serious. And I actually watched it I straight away, watched the video that I was making back. Like, 20, 20 seconds, is that it? So I've done some um, bit of research. My brother Craig is helping me out because he said he's going to do this challenge. The challenge is not to do a pull up. No, 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 no. The challenge is to do 10. <laughs> because <laughs> it's one of those right if you just say to yourself I, what there's a point of me telling you this story which is that i don't want to just go to set myself a goal which is right you will do this and then i do it and that's that you know it's one of those i want a goal so, so if i didn't do pull, one, one pull up yeah that'll be huge for me but at the same time right now I'll go and do another 10 and another, another nine sorry see so yeah, my brother craig's helping me out with it and he suggested this video where it's this really nice guy who, I can't remember the fucking guy's name, right? It's on the screen. <laughs> and he's just, he's like, this is where you need to start. And it's basically doing wall pull-ups. So you're holding onto a wall and pulling yourself up. And it says, do sets of 50, three sets of 50. And it's one of those, you start doing it and you feel an idiot. And you look, I mean, look at me, I, I feel stupid. But, um, yeah, so I'm, um, um, you get to about 100. You get to about 100 and you just go, oh, God, my arms, are, my shoulders are killing me now. <laughs> so um, that's always an interesting one. Uh, so, yeah, we're starting starting small, basically. And I will go back to the bars in a couple of days' time and just see if I can hang more, hang for longer. And the um, thing is, I did because I did it for three days in a row, I got to the point where my um, my forearms my biceps my triceps basically my whole upper body was screaming at me like please don't do this again please don't do this again for a couple of days because it really bloody hurts it hurts a lot <laughs> so um yeah so that's um that's that's the big news for this week i've set myself this challenge that is ridiculous it's going to be so fucking hard it's like it's 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 like i think physically it's probably the toughest thing that i could do because you, I, I think um, you know if you t if it said right, I want you to do, I want you to do fifty pull-ups, a uh, fifty um, sit-ups. Sorry, do fifty sit-ups. Eventually, I get there. I can do some um, pull-ups. Uh, so, okay, I'll stop saying that. I could I could do fifty. Pull I, I can. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so cold. My brain's not working. I could probably do twenty sit-ups right now if I wanted to. You know, so if the challenge is do fifty sit-ups, you know. Would, um, I'm sure I'd get there eventually, but I, like I say, I can't do a pull-up. I cannot do one pull-up. So this is challenge of challenges. So um, yeah, like I say, nothing's happened this week. I'm sorry. When lockdown is lifted, you will get so sick of these vlogs because I'll be taking at least one of the five MGs that I've got. 
to MG shows and it'll be like, dude, I'm so fucking sick of pictures of MGs. Can you talk about something else? <laughs> but right now, because it's lockdown and it's winter and you know, we can't do anything in the, in the garden. I can't do anything to the car. But yeah, you know, remember we were doing a lot of stuff on the interiors of the cars, right? Check this out. It's so cold at the moment that the leather goes really hard and you can't work with it. <laughs> so we've, we've, we've progress on the silver MG, uh, Gigi has stopped. But I've bought a load of stuff um, for mine, for Busy, that I'll get around to doing eventually. Because it's funny with Busy, because she's such a... Have you seen all... She's all the colours. I mean, look, there's a photo of her on the screen now. She's, yeah, she turns pink through blue, purple, green at times. She's gold at times. This is just an excuse for me to paint pictures of my car, to be honest, isn't it? But yeah, anyway, the point is, I thought... One of the things we uh, we did last year is we took her to an, one of the MG one of the few MG shows we went to last year, and um, Liz did a video of all the she does these Facebook Live videos for MG events because people love her voice for it. She, everyone's like, oh my god, it makes me feel like I'm actually at the show and things like that. So she, so, so we we got to go to quite a few MG shows because people sort of demand it of us. <laughs> anyway, Liz was doing one and she's like she was going around all this car and look at this car it's got it's got this it's got that it's got this done to it it's got oh isn't that a lovely interior and you can hear it in her voice when she gets to my car because she goes look at this and this one's ours and she looks inside and you can hear, hear her voice falter for just a fraction of a second because busy was let down by her interior because i spent so much money on getting her exterior done that there wasn't the money to get her interior done so gradually what i've done is over the winter i've bought little bits here and there so i've got i've just my big my purchase this week is a, is a momo chrome gear knob for her and i've got a silver steering wheel i've got a silver center console I've got some new door cards. I've got these fucking gorgeous leather seats that are already in there. You know, that's all to come. So I want like almost like a quite a muted, but a classy interior. To complete, it's going to be the complete opposite of the um, all of the colours on the outside. Anyway, so that's one thing. Um, you know, um, that's to that's to come though. That will be vlogs of look, look what I did to my car. Like this is me at a car show. Blah 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 blah. In the sunshine, but right now because I can't do any of that. You know, it's a bit of a moot point. What else do I know? Uh, Dan and I recorded two episodes of the SWAT in the last week. Um, episode three um, was a disaster. <laughs> and we recorded it and about 10, 10 minutes in, Alfie started barking. There was a disturbance of some sort outside. So we had to stop the recording for about 20 minutes. It sounded like there was a chicken or something like that outside like being just torn to pieces, basically. And it was uh, Alfie was going mental at that. So we had to go and calm Alfie down. Go and see if we could find anything, and we couldn't. But it was one of those, oh man, um, the noise it was making was horrific. And then, yeah, we just get back into our flow again, and Dan's internet went down. And it's just one of those, this is not meant to be. But you know, once the internet came back on, we were just like, right, okay, let's finish this one and do another one and do a better one. So we do, we recorded a second episode, but um, I'll tell you now, it's episode three, it's not due out for another couple of weeks. It's not the nicest about it. We talk about it, it's, quite, it's a topic that I thought would be good for creating discussion. But Dan especially gets really cross about what we're talking about. So um, yeah, it could be good because it's you. Know, it's, it's one of those again. It's it's, it's one of the things that we're so we're, we're aiming for with this series is to create discussion. We want you to put things in the comments about what you feel about the topics we're talking about. So um, yeah, so now we've got three episodes. Episode two goes live this Friday. It's live now on my Facebook page, on the Mark Pearson Wrestling Reviews Facebook page, and on Twitter. If you want to find me on Twitter, it's live on both of those because we're so pleased with episode two um, that we just want—I just was just wanting people to see it. Normally, I put them online on a Wednesday, but uh, yeah, this one was already already live. And uh, I've said before, if you um, go on my channel, big gate. If you go on my channel um, and find the playlist, it's literally if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll find the playlist and all the episodes are there. Even the unlisted ones are all in a playlist called the SWAT, and they're all there. So if you want to watch them early, you can. <laughs> because what I'll do is I'll always I'll just put them online once they're edited. I'll put them online as unlisted, but I'll put them into that place because I just want people to see them. I just want people to see them. But we're put, we're, we're we're recording episodes now that are. I mean, we're going to record on Friday. That's going to be released in the middle of March, <laughs> just as a because we want that buffer. You know, I mean, I yeah, know got the bonus episode just in case, but you know. So um, that's pretty much going to do it for me today this week um i hope you have a lovely week and i hope you're all safe and the weather isn't as bad as it is here where you are it's probably worse though isn't it because like i say we haven't got any snow and i've seen online lots and lots of snow um yeah that's where i'm at oh god i didn't turn my weight did i fucking hell that's a fucking huge one so yeah 16 1.3 this morning this last week we've done 
one gram of protein. Remember I talked about doing keto last week. So what we did is we tried, I tried to do low carb for four days. Okay, I was trying to do under 150 grams of, of carbohydrate. A couple of days I got under 100 grams. Yeah, wasn't a nice person, <laughs> just wasn't nice. And I, but what I did do is, is every day since last Monday, so today's day, yeah, day eight, Tuesday, yeah, that's right. <laughs> for eight days now, I've had a gram of protein for every pound of body weight that I'm at. So I'm at 226, aren't I? Am I? 224, 225, sorry. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I've had a, a gram of protein for every, every pound of body weight. I wonder if that's making a difference. I think it's helping with my, my muscles, my muscle mass, I'm sure. And um, I love protein bars, I love protein shakes. So it's, it's one of those things, I don't eat a lot of meat these days, but it's, it's one of those, I find it really easy to get the amount of protein. It's just one of those, hey, do you want to eat four protein bars today? So I can, yeah, I can do that. Spread them out across the day, <laughs> not a problem at all. And I know, before you go, ooh, just eat protein, but I just eat chicken breast. So I don't like chicken very much. And so, you know, it's one of those things. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's where I'm, I'm just coming up to the main road, so I'm going to have to start filming anyway. Um, yeah. 16.1.3, I was over the moon. So bear in mind, two weeks ago, how under I was because I was 16.5. You know, I just want to get under 16 now. That's what I really want. But if my muscle mass is going up, I'll tell you this much, I would be happy for it to stay exactly where it is at the moment. And if it wants to go up because I'm putting muscle on, then so be it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Mark P. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, go and watch the SWAT if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I'll see you all next week, if not sooner. Take it easy, guys.